Hey, what's up guys? This is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. In today's video, I'll show you guys how to make a speaker using a thumbs up bottle. So guys, to make a speaker at your home, these are the components you'll need. You'll need a plastic bottle. I've used a thumbs up bottle. You can use any kind of plastic bottle. You'll need three wooden pieces which I'll be using to support the plastic cone that I'll make using this bottle. You'll need a magnet. This is the same magnet that I've used in my microphone. If you haven't watched that video, I'll leave a link to that also. And you'll need a voice coil. This is how the voice coil looks like. You can get this from your nearest electronic store or you can make one at your home. And you'll need a CD. It's a useless CD. So that's it guys, these were the components. Now let's start making the speaker guys. Take this plastic bottle, you need to cut it over here. Just do as I am showing you. Use a blade and cut the plastic bottle over here. So this is the part that we want from this plastic bottle guys. We are gonna make a plastic cone out of this, a speaker cone. Now you need to cut this plastic cone in three places, 120 degrees apart. Take a scissors and start cutting it just like this. So now after cutting the slits, you need to bend them. Just bend it like this. Now it should look somewhat like this. Now remove this extra plastic, we don't need it. Our speaker cone is ready guys, it'll look like this. Now keep it aside and take a CD, we need to stick this magnet onto that CD. You can use any kind of glue to stick it, I'm using a glue gun to stick the magnet to the CD. Just apply glue over it and stick it at the center of the CD. That's it. That's it guys, we fixed the magnet on the CD. Now take the plastic cone and you need to make markings so that we can fix the wooden pieces onto the CD. Use a marker and make three markings at 120 degrees. And now we need to place these wooden sticks onto the CD. So apply some glue over it and stick it like this. Follow the same procedure and stick all the three wooden pieces at these positions. So it should look somewhat like this. Now we need to fix this voice coil onto this plastic bottle. You need to fix it at the neck of the bottle. Use a tape and stick the voice coil to the neck of this bottle. Just like this. It is very easy to do this guys. Just watch carefully. And that's it, we fix the coil to the neck of the bottle. And these are the voice coil leads. Now bend the flaps like this, so that we can fix them onto the wooden sticks easily. Just place the coil on top of the magnet. And stick the plastic cone using a glue gun to the wooden sticks. Stick few paper pieces on top for extra grip. Take two copper wires guys. We need to stick it to the plastic cone. And after sticking it, we need to solder them to the voice coil leads. Just take a glue gun and stick it to this plastic cone. So this is how it will look like guys, you need to stick it over here. Now we need to solder this to the voice coil leads. So the soldering part is done guys, just have a look at it. It should look somewhat like this. 
These wires will act as the connections for the speaker so that we can connect an amplifier and play music on it. Now stick these copper wires to this wooden stick so that it will hold the wires firmly using this glue gun. The assembling part of the speaker is done guys. This is how I fix the connection wires to the speaker. These connection wires will go to the amplifier. And this is the magnet and the voice coil arrangement. Just have a look at it guys. It is very simple to make this. So this is how our speaker looks like guys. The assembling part is done. All we need to do is test this speaker. So these are the voice coil leads which I am going to connect it to my 30 watts amplifier. So let's connect it using this pair of wires. So let's check out the quality of the speaker that we made just now. Wow! That's awesome! Let's fix it. The audio quality is really good guys. I didn't knew a plastic bottle would sound this good. To show you guys the movement of the speaker, I'm using a small ball. I'll place it in the center of the speaker so that you can watch the movement of this plastic cone. Wow, the plastic cone is really pushing the ball. This speaker's got lots of power. It may be around 10 to 15 watts. This speaker is loud enough to have a party at your home guys. This is awesome. You need to try it out at your home. It gives good bass and treble guys. That's awesome. So thanks guys for watching my video. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe and stay tuned to my channel for more new awesome videos.